when he was in danger like that, but... Ouch! Hey! What's your dumbass get for getting that put... I was gonna get the put in before him, and he decided to just completely steal it from me. We're back, guys! To start up another episode of, of course, Kirby Fighters 2, and begin episode number 110 of the series. Last time we left off in the series, we recently just defeated single-handed mode with the Ultra Sword ability, and we barely got a bronze medal, which was ridiculous. But anyways, we're back once again to do another related solo matchup. And I think for today, I guess I might as well do something that a lot of people happen to suggest to me, and do an all-four-out King DDD battle in DDD Arena, even though I don't technically do this because I don't want the regular King DDD to be in the matchup, but I mean... You know, you gotta give to the viewers what they want, so... You gotta do what you gotta do. And plus, it's DDD. Come on. DDD's my mommy. I gotta do something for my man. Man, triple attack! Okay, five King DDDs is way too much. Five King DDDs is way too much, bro. Really, that's way too much. And somehow... I'm gonna say this again. I know I said this multiple times, but I'm gonna say it again. That DDD ghost is so creepy, man. Creepiest thing I've ever seen. Like, honestly. Why would you do my man like that? Come on, bro. Alright, for today's episode, we're heading back into story mode, because I promised, as I promised, we're heading back into this mode just to continue through this with DDD as you would expect. So that's what we do. We continue in story mode with the homie. Let's go ahead and freaking do this thing. Next up, the serious gooey and the boisterous bell. And that bell guy has a temple bell on. Alright, I don't think this should be too tough, though, because we know what we're doing, so... Let's go ahead and do it. Come on, DDD. Bit, 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 Brom. Hey, he's still getting me. I... Okay, sure. Man, Kirby is showing no mercy to those guys. Bam. Okay, in my defense, that was a little mean of me to not help out, um... My pal, when he was in danger like that, but... Ouch! Hey! What's your dumbass get for getting that put in? I was gonna get the put in before him, and he decided to just completely steal it from me. Oh, come on with that, bro. I was just about to grab that, and then the little gooey steals it. Come on with that, man. Are you for real? Can I do my man like that? Come on, man. All right, 39 floors left. At least I get some HP back. Oh, that's a tough choice. Um, You know what? Let's go with the tax to level 2, just to be on the safe side. Next up, Duo Edge. Giga Edge and Ignite Edge are coming back. These two is coming back. Coming back full circle, you know? Weird King DDD facing against these two. Anyway, dual edge. Oh shoot, I forgot about this! Well, this one does like a tremendous amount of damage, you know? Ow! Ouch! Okay, at least I got something. Okay, that works as well. Okay, then sure. Okay, sure. Ouch! Ow! Oh shoot, I'm about to die! Woo! Ouch! Wait, I didn't get a hit? Ah! 
Okay, that time I got hit. Gosh, darn it. Let's not kill him. Come on with that, bro. There we go. Bam. Woo! Yo, my man King Dedede wasn't messing around, man. He got damaged a couple times, sure, but he still managed to pull it through with his partner. Woo! Boys, I struggle with that battle. Holy. I'll take those 4,000 points gladly, thank you. Sheesh, man, that was a tough battle, holy. I mean, we pulled it through regardless, but man, that was hard, man. Really, that was tough. Goodness. We need some health recovery. All right, let's do the item selection plus. This is the safest bet, because as much as I want to do Auto God 2, I want to make sure that we have more access to stuff. Next up, the Omnisensor. Level 13? Yeah. And ironically, this is floor 13, so... <laughs> see how this turns out. Because that last battle, I'm not gonna lie, was a bit brutal. We did pull it through regardless, but still. Okay, not what I was anticipating. I was kind of expecting it to be a health recovery item, but no. Okay, that at least was a health recovery item. There we go. I'll come out with one good hammer swing. And that tree, a train had to pass by us before we even defeated him. All right, then sure. Whew. Yo, my boys, this be brutal. All right, 37 floors left. Um, ooh, that's a tough one. Um, let's go with a cherry for now. I was tempted to use the Hellstone, but don't be that risky. Come on. Next up, the hardworking artist and the stubborn beetle. Wait, we're in the Fountain of Dreams again? Okay, we are. All right, then, sure. I do have to wonder if this stage has a secret theme. I've never been answered that question if this stage has a secret theme or not. Aye. He needed to for you, I would let that go! Okay, not only did my partner take in loads of damage, but I KO'd the Kirby the same time that he ended up, you know, finishing the uh, bomb attack. No idea how that makes sense, and that probably was kind of mean for me to do that, but I mean, okay then, sure. Sure, that ends up working, I guess. Although, that, that was a little mean of me to accidentally throw that dynamite against Kirby. I wasn't meaning to do that, but I can't believe I did my man like that. Come on, bro. All right, 36 floors left. Finally, we get a recovery stone that is useful. All right, moving on. Next up, the Flawless Fighter. The only items here are ice containers. All right, we'll keep that in mind, because we have to deal with the Knuckle Joe uh, Fighter Kirby. I don't think this battle should be that difficult, though, so... Okay, sure, immediately uh, scream in his face with a good ah, oh, and then immediately defeat him. Sure, then King DDD, sure, immediately just demolish him right off the get-go. That was a lot faster than I anticipated, too, holy. All right, we're actually not doing too bad. Really, we're not doing too bad, which I'm pretty surprised about. All right, 35 floors left. Okay, for now, let's go with the... Yeah, let's go with the Hellstone. All right, let's save the game here. I'm kind of surprised at how fast this went. Holy! We managed to beat those battles with no problem at all, her. All right, guys, I'll wrap up this episode here. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Now, before I actually wrap this video up, i got to say one quick thing. I'm not going to release 
the next Curry Fighters 2 episode like I usually would. I'm actually going to hold on the series for a bit until... I want to say, um... Until I want to say October, because I want to try to make room to try out some new games that I've never tested out before. And starting on the 21st, I'm going to be actually playing a brand new game that I actually have not played before. And I'm going to actually pre-record a couple videos of that series early, so you guys can get an idea of what the game is. I'm not going to mention the actual game yet until we get to the actual series itself and everything. But don't worry, you guys are going to see the game in action once we get into that particular point in the story, okay? But, till next time guys, I will see you guys next time when we come back for the next episode to tackle through some more of this game. And, of course, continue the game as always to get into, of course, the next couple of single-handed matchups. I might most likely do one, but I haven't really decided on what ability or what character I'm going to use, so let me think about it. But till next time, guys, I will see you guys next time when we come back for the next episode. So till next time, y'all, bye.